So if you want to leave your home in Italy, the only way you can do it is by carrying one of these. This is a modulo autodichiarazione, a self-declaration form. You have to have it, and it proves that you are out for what the government considers to be an essential reason. For example, even next door at the supermarket by our home, turns out police were checking people as they waited in line, obviously for an essential reason to buy food. They were checking for forms. Another reality is that there have been so many it versions of this form, so many iterations, you have to carry the correct version with you, but it's hard to keep track. One of our friends joked that perhaps this is a secret IQ test for Italian nationals. So let me tell you a little bit about what's on the form. First of all, they ask for full name, date of birth, place of birth. They want your official residence address as well as your current address. The type of ID document that you're carrying and your document number as well as your phone number. Then you have to declare that you are fully aware of all articles pertaining to the containment measures and you understand them, that you're not positive for the virus, that you're not under any quarantine measures, and that if you have declared anything false, that indeed it is punishable. Next, you have to indicate your essential reason to be out of your home. So if that's for work, you have to carry proof that you indeed are an essential worker and work for the company that you claim to. A technician told us that he also has to take his temperature before leaving the house. He has to indicate that and that he has not had any symptoms. Could also leave for a situation of necessity, so an emergency in other words, or for health reasons. For example, if you have a doctor's appointment, you have to carry along a confirmation of that appointment. Or finally, it could be to return to your home or domicile. Uh, otherwise, traffic from town to town has been almost completely ceased. Trains, buses, everything stopped. Now. There have been tens of thousands of people at this point who have been fined for not carrying one of these. And again, it's not for not social distancing. It's for not having a reason that the government deems to be essential to be out of your home. Right now, for example, the exercise ban has been lifted. And so depending on which region you're in, they have different rules. But depending on the region, you can be between 200 and 600 meters of your home to exercise. The definition of exercise is interpreted differently by different people. For example, just recently, a woman was fined 400 euro for going out to walk her turtle. That didn't go over very well. Also, there's all kinds of jokes that people are, are going to rent out their dogs in order to give their neighbors a legitimate reason to get out of their homes. For people under 18, uh, kids can be accompanied by an adult, by one adult, for a fresh air break, but there are no activities and no games allowed. So tens of thousands of people find between 206 and 3,000 euro, although the fines can be even more stringent than that, depending on what area of the country that you're in. On Easter Sunday, there were almost 14,000 people fined. On Easter Monday, about 16 and a half thousand people find for not having an essential reason. If you're spot checked and found to be positive for the virus, you will face between one to five years in prison. There are hundreds of people awaiting that punishment right now. So if you're going out of your home in Italy, you have to take one of these.